so uh the question that problem okay i hope now my sound is coming to you right yes sir so let's start the class then so i i asked that uh in the last class i have given some assignments okay so uh have you got that that what actually i was asking because what happens when you get a research paper then <clears throat> main thing that you have to find out that the problem okay the problem they are talking about and after that what are the probable solutions that uh, the authors actually suggesting for that paper that you have to find it out but the last paper that i have given to you that is a kind of study only okay the problems are given and the related uh, works with respect to that problem are given only okay but about the solution because they, they have not mentioned one particular problem from their side okay this type of papers are known as some study work okay or you can say some review right uh, i have gone through your assignment and one 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 lecture i'll try to analyze them in front of you okay so <clears throat> we have discussed the semi structured problem that is okay and then next thing today we are going to discuss is expert system okay so my screen is visible to you right is my screen visible yes, to sir. you okay so in yes, in the sir. case of uh, semi structured you have seen that i have mentioned a term expert system so what is that exactly why do we need this type of system okay what how does this systems will be helping you for finding a solution to a problem so kya hai ye expert system first of all by the term expert aap log kya samajhte ho ke ha suppose aapne kaha ki main uh, java mein mera expertise hai okay i have expertise on java so this means what that up to that standard that is you can say basic to that level you frame programs to solve a particular problem with java by yourself okay that is your expertise level jaise main bolunga ki i have expertise on ai i have worked in the field of computer vision and machine learning so main machine learning ke bare mein jab bolunga ki i have expertise on that i can't say that i have full expertise on the whole machine learning because you know i think you all know that machine learning ai the best field okay no one can be have be expert in every particular sub domains of this big domain right so main jab ml ki baat karunga obviously aap logo ne mera work dekha hoga maine kaam kiya tha unsupervised learning tactics mein so i can say that yeah up to that level the unsupervised learning i have some expertise on that okay so jab bhi koi mere students aayenge koi bhi mera scholars hoga to main unko unsupervised learning tactics ke upar apna jo expertise hai i can share with him or her similarly in case of computer vision you can see that my work was focusing on the segmentation and then um, you can say classification so i can means guide the students or i can give my expertise uh, knowledge on that particular field to that
So, uh, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, when we are gathering knowledge from different experts, so this means what we are uh, means uh, collecting the expertise knowledge from different experts, and then we try to construct a database out of it. Okay. But do remember that, that this database now is known as knowledge base in artificial intelligence. Ah, ye jo database hai, jo jisme humne kya kya? We have extracted knowledge from different experts and we are collecting them. And that, that particular database is known as knowledge base in artificial intelligence. Okay, not database. Now, then what would happen for an expert system, we design some rules. Okay, we try to means, uh, find out some rules so that with the help of those rules, we try to infer some new uh, idea or we can say new output with respect to some input. Suppose, if you have a noisy noisy atmosphere, hai, suppose, ha, noisy atmosphere. Hai, this may a uh, noisy atmosphere I'm talking about with respect to an image, suppose. Okay, noisy hai, noise hai, sunne, sunne. Say you have said that black and paper no noise is there in that image. Okay. Black and paper noise is there in that image. Then you ask me that what type of filter will be uh, suitable to denoise that image. So, make a volume from my experience, I'll tell you that that will be a median filter. Okay, simple, in simple case means in, uh, if you don't want to uh, jump into the higher complex, complexity level, then medium filter will suit this case, means will suit this for this problem. Okay, will suit for this problem, means with the help of median filter, you can denoise that image which is being uh, 
सफरिंग फ्रॉम दिस ब्लैक एंड पीपल नॉइज ओके तो ये वाला जो है ना तो आपने एक रूल बनाया यू हैव कंस्ट्रक्टेड अ रूल इफ एट वो रूल क्या होगा इफ नॉइज इज ब्लैक एंड पीपल ठीक है एंड कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज एवरेज देन अप्लाई मेडियन फिल्टर ठीक है ये एक रूल बन गया देन similarly we will collect or we will construct more rules so that in future suppose ek jan ne input kiya ke yes black and people noise is there in that image and we i need to solve that problem within average complexity level then that expert system which has already been installed with this uh, different inference rule that expert system will suggest that apply median filter or if we are uh, we have already implemented that filter then it will automatically apply that filter to that particular image so that uh, that noise level will be reduced so in that way a part system works okay first we try to collect the or retrieve the knowledge from different expert to that particular problem problem okay uh, always remember that expert system being designed for a particular problem like medical diagnosis system or suppose leave disease detection or different problems are there with respect to which we design some expert system so first thing that you have to do you have to get a knowledge from different expert and then you need to Uh, construct this knowledge base, and with the help of those knowledge base, you have to find out some. Uh, you have to uh, derive some rules. Those are known as inference rules to solve users' I mean queries. Okay, which uh, which matches the particular conditions that you have already mentioned there, right? Thus, I have given the example of denoising an image. that is being suffering from uh, black and paper noise okay so similarly uh, uh, you may have some different condition and with respect to which you will may have some different rules okay so kya ye expert system ab sabhi ko samajh mein aa gaya whether this expert system is clear to everyone or not yes sir okay good so these two diagrams clearly illustrate this fact okay lucky ye jo cheez hai ye this is a part of ai i hope that you already got it but it's very important okay now let's base in current and user interface okay user gives some or uh, raises some query and expert system will suggest some advices with respect to those queries okay now some very famous examples of expert systems are this one and among them don't forget this dandrel and mycin okay and today's as assignment is that what you will do aap log sabhi jan kyunki ye janna chahiye because you are working in the area of artificial intelligence you have to know what this system do so this dandrel and mycin you will find out information regarding these two expert systems that for which problems this systems being designed okay i have given one uh, my scene that is a very simple famous one of course okay and there we are using lips <coughs> lips stands for list programming aap logo ne ai mein agar ai if you have already gone through it then you have you may have about this lips okay list programming similarly we have prolog okay प्रोलोग तो आप लोगों ने सुना होगा शायद ठीक है इसी तरह लिस्ट प्रोग्रामिंग ठीक है तो माइसिन में लिस्ट प्रोग्रामिंग यूज किया जाता है ठीक है वी यूज लिप्स इन माइसिन बट व्हाट इज द एक्चुअली फॉर हु व्हिच टास्क दिस माइसिन हैड बीन डिजाइन ओके इट इज बीन डिजाइन फॉर सम व्हाट डायग्नोस्टिक्स परपस एंड फॉर दैट वी एक्चुअली अप्लाई बैकवर्ड रीजनिंग do remember in artificial intelligence we have forward reasoning and backward reasoning okay aur yahan kaun se apply kiya ja raha hai backward reasoning and in brief backward reasoning means what the forward reasoning several conditions are given and with the help of those conditions you try to find out that rule or backward reasoning mein is such as opposite hota hai means you know that this is your goal now up 
इस गोल से आपको वो सारे कंडीशन फाइंड आउट करना है जिसकी वजह से ये हुआ है राइट गोल यू Okay, so that's why we apply here backward reasoning, and for that we use this programming, right? So that is my scene. So similarly, you try to find out how this dendril works, for which problem we have designed it. Okay. Now you have to know the differences between the expert system and DSS that we discussed in the last lecture, right? DSS is decision support system. And you got it that in the last lecture, I told you that this DSS mainly deals with semi-structured problem. Okay, and that pyramid, you might recall it that uh, pyramid I was talking about at the time that non-programmed decision, programmed decision, but in the middle part also some uh, decision making process is going on. Actually, it takes input from this one and it applies that to find out or make some non-program decision. Okay, or semi-structure problem may yet or nothing with that. Okay, we have discussed this thing. Now, we need to know the differences between this DSS and expert systems. So you already know that DSS hum kis liye uh, banate hai because of course it helps us to perform some decision-making process efficiently, right? It facilitates uh, the decision-making process, but expert system automate that process yes this dss it will help you it will facilitate that process but expert system will automatically suggest you that what to do okay it will just give you the solution but it will just uh, dss just enhances that process not properly giving you the exact solution right then dss you got it that either semi-structured or mainly unstructured for the type of problems we design it but expert system, you know that we have collected the knowledge base. We have collected the knowledge from the different experts and we have just constructed that knowledge base. So it is pre designed means those queries, it can just uh, mean answers or it can respond, which have already been programmed there. Okay. But um, what happens from new query will come, will not be able to means uh, solve that query right it should uh, rely on that knowledge base so it is somehow somewhat structured okay but dss is an unstructured environment now next thing this use goals and the system data to establish alternatives and so a good decision can be made. The expert systems can eventually replace the human decision maker because expert system is a uh, kind of what? It is a kind of robot that is suggesting you the exact means, uh, solutions for that problems. But DSS is just enhancing that process. Okay. so. We can say that this DSS is a kind of semi-automatic, but expert system is a kind of fully automated system, right? So these are the differences between DSS and expert system. Or because they have with this uh, slide, this will be more means uh, clear to you that goals in case of DSS support of human decision maker. And in case of expert system, copy or replace human advisor. You can make expert system so diagnosis process cancer diagnosis process So next time we don't need that uh, human person, a human or that advice. Okay, we can directly refer to that expert system. So it may replace human advisor. It works like a robot, right? Then next, who makes decisions or recommendation? DSS. Okay, the man or the system. But yes, the system. Okay, this is the case may man be used, yeah, the system was at the time. But as I have said, that this is semi automated. It depends. But yes, it's fully automated. The system will respond to those queries or it will directly make some recommendation. Then 
direction of the inquiry in case of uh, DSS, man inquiries the system, no doubt. Then ES, system inquiries, man. Opposing ke kya apka temperature kya hai? Okay, apka matlab uh, ye kya hai? Uh, weight kya hai? Height kya hai? Accordingly, some suggestion will be made. So system is inquiring you, but in case of DSS, man is inquiring the system, right? Then type of support, individual groups, okay. So DSS, uh, yeah. Try to prepare a note on them that the problems and uh, how they have been designed and send it to me uh, before 120. Okay. Okay, sir.